Hi, I'm Govind, and I'm going to present a high-level overview of our paper, Data Exchange Markets via Utility Balancing. The data landscape is undergoing a dramatic transformation. Global big data markets reached $163 billion US dollars in revenue in 2021. This is projected to only rise significantly over the next few years. This is exemplified by platforms like Snowflake that have developed recently. We propose a model of a data exchange economy that aims to formalize this landscape. Consider a retailer with rich customer data, taking deeper insights into their customers' purchase behavior across diverse product categories. This retailer could trade their, value, trade their data to gain access to data of equivalent value from other participating entities. We envision this as a data exchange economy facilitated by a central trusted entity. Now let's formalize our model. We have a set of agents that each possess a unique data set and specific tasks. Sharing data with others can contribute to improving the performance of their tasks quantified by a utility. This essentially signifies that the more relevant data and the more data an agent receives, the better their task outcomes. We make some standard assumptions about the utility. Our primary goal in this setting is ensuring fairness and to incentivize agents to participate in the exchange economy. So the improvement to one agent's utility function is distributed to the agents that gave it data. We employ established sharing rules such as the Shapley value to decide contributions of one agent to another agent's task. Our primary constraint then is called balance. Basically, we want to ensure that the value an agent offers matches the value they receive. By optimizing for overall welfare under this constraint, we create a fair and efficient data exchange. These are some of our results. We first show that the data exchange problem is NP hard and propose some approximation algorithms and small violations in the balance constraint to deal with this hard. Apart from these, we also show that our algorithms significantly outperform the scenario where there is no central entity and agents can only trade with one other agent. You also briefly consider some notions of core stability in our study. Thank you.